Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for February 13th of 2022. Well, it is titled Earth at Night. So what do we see here? Well, here is image an image of what Earth looks like at night and note how it's night all across the Earth. So of course, we know that this was taken by multiple images and then stitched together. And if the other thing you'll notice is, of course, that there are no no clouds on the Earth. So if we had to look for areas where it would have been clear. So we look for then essentially the light pollution, the very light areas on Earth and the very dark areas that we can see. So what you can note is that some areas are of course lighter and some are darker and the brighter areas tend to relate to the more populated areas in the world. So when we look at uh, certain areas we see a lot of coverage in India. Uh, off towards the right hand side and then many parts of East Asia, Eastern China, Japan and South Korea that are very bright. When you look down to the lower right at Australia, just a few of the large cities on the coast, much of the interior is very dark, meaning that there are not a lot of lights there and generally then not a lot of people there. Uh, in terms of going back to the center of the image in terms of Africa, much of it is very dark, although there's a few areas that are well illuminated, especially the Nile River, you can see with all of the people around the Nile, all of the lights there going up from the going from the Mediterranean down into through Egypt. Uh, much of Europe is relatively bright there as well. Of course, there are some darker areas, but you can kind of pick out some of the larger, larger metropolitan areas there. And the same thing over in the Americas. In the Americas, you can see, for example, for United States and Canada, uh, much of the eastern portion and some of the very west is illuminated. But except for a few specific cities within the central portions there central and slightly western portions it's very very dark and the same in South America around the edges it's there but deep into the Amazon Valley very very dark not a lot of uh, not a lot of lights there so we can kind of get an idea of where people are concentrated on Earth and we can see where some of the rivers are as some of the rivers are highlighted by this but it shows some of the most densely populated areas and of course the areas that are not the best for astronomy. If you're trying to look for things you, in the sky, you don't want to be in a very bright area because that brightens the sky and then makes it very hard to see uh, fainter objects in the sky. So some of the best images you get are from some of the darker areas, uh, like down towards southern Africa on the western side where it's very dark. It's some very nice images there, as well as areas in Australia and others. Now there are ways to get good pictures in uh, other regions. But the darker skies are disappearing from much of the world as the skies get lighter and lighter as we can see in our image today. So that was our picture of the day for February 13th of 2022. It was titled Earth at Night. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Space for the Heart. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.